So they just released the starting times and uh, should be s there you go 1026 number 78 I don't think these are assigned numbers maybe um, Thomas Roski I'm a 700 T3 class which is big bike class um, oh the camera won't focus come on what is it and uh, can you see it oh, come on focus no you won't see it uh, well that's it then it doesn't matter anyways i promise i'll make you a video about the the bike and the van and all that stuff and i think this is a good chance to start because like i said before today i have a chance to walk on the bike only today um it's wednesday and friday we're leaving um so i brought the bike to do a couple of changes so i'm not gonna do in one video the van and the bikes it's gonna be too long and i'll give you the tour of the van first so there she is oh steve is still walking uh, on the boost control <laughs> my new boost control valve to check the issue Let's see how it goes anyways that's the van crafter medium wheel base low roof because i can almost stand in it because i'm a show us big tires these are 33 inch they don't look big because hey, it's a big van but look when i stand next to it you know they come to here so yeah they are almost 33 inch um obviously engine is different as not a sprinter engine because it says make that is a make om605 all mechanical no sensors no issues no wiring to go wrong with this is just a trick because it's a standard air filter they do nothing you know they're just for show to make it look like all original or standard obviously bigger turbo the pump is mechanical it pushes much much more fuel is eight mil uh, i've seen people pushing 380 400 at three bar of pressure and I am running free bar of pressure. The problem is the clutch is standard, so it slips massively. You know, anything after 2000 RPMs when the boost actually goes, goes on, uh, it slips, slips badly. So I got tons of power, but I can't use any of it. <laughs> These are actually very good. Uh, at night, they, they are extremely good. Anyways, what else inside the engine? But inside the engine, but there is a jerry can. This is a 10 or 15 liters. I can't remember. I think 15. 10 whatever it doesn't matter this is diesel for the night heater uh, because i have a diesel heater inside now as we go forward i already turned this around to show you the swivel seats um they work really nice um just this one that one doesn't need to be um the sprint and the craft they have very you know this is very useful because it's a storage box now in my case let me just climb on top um in my case i use it for as a compressor as a power splitter between three different batteries because i got a um a speed charger that charges the batteries from the engine alternator uh, or it charges from the solar and one is spare one uh, so it's kind of like a server recovery as well so if my main battery dies i can turn that knob and i have the, the other battery to start the car i don't have to put the jump leads or anything I call it self recovery. As a jump leads anyway, is a um, Nax. There's an extinguisher there, which should be really more accessible because before I have to pull this out, this out. Obviously, the stuff is gonna burn out. As a night heater there, uh, and yeah, that's all of it from here. Come on, from there. This is very nice. Um, I have this thing here. This is a swivel pole, uh, it goes up and down, and I have, I'm not gonna take it out, but it's, cause it's there. It's like a table that swivels every, everywhere. It can be here, it can be here. You can say that um, outside, obviously lower it if you want to, it's very, very convenient. It's just a piece of, you know, um, wood table, just goes around. So, uh, Jerry can obviously uh, 20 liters of fuel for the bike usually 
um, this is enough if the bike has um, I would say half a tank I bring this and it's plenty is enough most of the time um, obviously Up there, and then we have some food and stuff to wear the dishes and you know, salt and some other stuff to get her food. This is a very nice, this is um, soft uh, but also rigid, has this frame around from North Face. My wife find them, they're very, very good, very convenient. What we got here, we got the gas spray, gas cartridges for, uh, for the cooker, for the gas cooker. Uh, stove, uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know where I put it. It should be here actually, and it's not. And there you go, one for the organizers. Uh, the towel, uh, some rope. Uh, rope is to secure Owen if it's windy and all that stuff. Obviously, a good towel. <laughs> you know what that is, that is essential. Uh, a small electric pump. Uh, jump leads for the jumper because we want to have a jump start as well zip ties and very important bin bag because we used to jump a lot and we don't like to leave mess behind leave no trace behind the jump um, so that's that's there and then we have obviously more water small foldable chair uh, with some uh, pieces for me to my daughter oh, I didn't stay there so you know what it should should be there anyway. Uh, we have this, um, a couple of mods. This is obviously a military ration pack just in case you know I forget as my usual stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna start with this, well, I'm not gonna start with this one day, but then you see it. That's a toolbox, and this one actually gonna have to work on it today because it's currently empty and I have to transfer uh, the stuff I have in that bag over there because there's a lot of tools and spare parts both for the van and for the bike and also there I have you see the grey box a um, lot of ratchet straps and the recovery ropes uh, including kinetic ropes they're very special ones and I want to put everything there in that box and then that box actually is going to end up in the corner to try to get everything be more organized um, because essentially what I want to do I want to put the bike um, just behind my seat I'm going to get back to this in a second uh, fridge Angel, this is this is awesome. I have if you can see there, a solar panel. I don't know really what it is, but it's enough. <laughs> it's just one single. It is cheap Chinese. You see, I just put it on quickly there, as my usual. Uh, a lot of wiring everywhere. Uh, you know, you know me, me and wires. They're not really, you know, friend. Anyways, uh, that fridge can stay all day, all night, like the whole year, no problems, no stop. Um, I got a remote there. Light. The device you can dim them down or up, which is very convenient at night because when you dim them to, I think it's ten percent, uh, it's very nice light. You know, very dimmed and it's good. Now the reason that is looks fucked which is not, it's unfinished because initially we were planning to cut a piece of that roof and put a pop up uh, like on like you see generally on the Volkswagen T5s. However. They are extremely expensive and obviously we ain't seen in a bit and some other stuff. It was like, it's, I think it's four, four and a half grand for a Sprinter or one of these. And I don't think it's worth it. Um, plus, it's still a half a tent. You have a rigid roof, but it's a tent. And people say they don't recommend any high winds. And uh, we do, you know, encounter high winds quite often. Plus, we find out that we actually sleep on the floor because I have this is one set of the mattress. This is four inch foldable uh, memory foam mattress. The floor is obviously nice and flat. You put them on the floor and you sleep. I have another set of these. I put them uh, obviously next to each other, and me and my missus sleeps extremely comfortable on it. So I'm really happy with that. Essentially, we're gonna change it because I want, like I said, the bike to be just behind my seat. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna move remove that uh, front wheel holder, or I don't know how it's called professionally, whatever. But it's, it's one very good thing because you drive the bike into it, it's the, keeps the bike in one place, stable. You don't have to put the straps, and the bike stays upright. 
if you try to move it it will fall but if you if you leave it straight it will stay straight and you have all the time in the world to put the straps now the way i put the straps on the bike is just two of them as you can see angle uh, four points on the frame on the frame of the van uh, on the chassis but is just on the top of the handlebars and if you see they actually pull the bike uh, both sides to stay straight they don't hold the bike to go forth and back because that's his job uh, however it wouldn't move forth and back uh, but it doesn't put any um, any stress on the springs on the, on the suspension on the front so I can leave the bike here for long period of time it's no problems because uh, usually people strap the bikes from the folks down and you have to compress the folks I really really don't like it I'm not sure if it's harmful or not to the suspension or the life of the spring or whatever you know or they compress the air from inside the folks I just don't like it this way the bike stays naturally in its own position as it should be it just doesn't move left and right completely and you have much more strength to go from the top of the motorcycle which is the highest point the highest lever because it's heavy bike and straight to the frame and uh, yeah you can drive the van just not even noticing you have the bike on the back you can do all the corning you want you can drift the van if you want to this thing will not move so i'm very happy with that um well that's obviously the tables some camping chairs a pillow I have the blinds for uh, for the windows uh, for the winter when it's cold and for the summer when the sun is there and you don't want to wake up at five six o'clock in the morning because sun is uh, shouting in your face so yeah that's that's pretty much all so this probably we're gonna um cover up um i'm gonna finish to put the carpet on it and put the lights properly because we're gonna do that pop up uh, like i said the bike is gonna go all the way forward and then when the bike forward i'm gonna step on the back and show you i can put the bed actually on each side um the bike stand obviously when we're out um, i had to modify this you see put that in and this way out because with the tires with the with the wheel sticking out the van i had to bring the the, the door when it opens out because you otherwise this will not open it will only open probably that much so useless um so let's go on the bike on the back so if you see this oh, here. this area here i want to put the bed from here uh, and it's going to be foldable so one from the middle folds against uh, obviously the wall there on that side and the other side folds against that i've done the cargs and it should be just matching in the in the middle now the bike once goes completely forward it will end up pretty much there where my bed starts but my bed is actually gonna go on the top of the wheel it's gonna be roughly here on the top of the exhaust so the bike will fit i will have to remove this but this is not a big problem because it's just one bolt it's just one screw and i can remove this the fuel tank which is the super on the bike is where the actually is going to be a bit more space between the bed and the fuel tank so um essentially i'll be able to have the bike inside and bed on both sides uh, fold it down and two three people can sit mega comfortably on it and um, however if the bike is going to be inside the van it means i'm traveling somewhere to to race so i don't have to fold both of the sides of the of the bed just one side because it's for me another option is as you can see there's a hammock uh i actually was there today because i had my break today a bit of a coffee i was sleepy I just put myself in a hammock the moment i put myself in a hammock I went on my phone and I wasn't sleeping anymore. Anyways, hammock is another thing. It's very comfortable. You can have a rest. You can actually sleep on that as well. My daughter slept on that um, last weekend and she likes it very much. So that's another option. Uh, so we can sleep in free here. Me, my wife and my daughter in a hammock. Um, so this is, yeah, this is to sort out. This is a gazebo. This is race gazebo, the 24 MX24, whatever it's called. You know, you know, this is a very stable one. This is the small one and pretty strong. Uh, it went through some abuse, through some strong winds and yeah, it stays rigid, no problems. So that's a good stuff. It's not one of the expensive ones, but it's, it's all right, you know. I did put some pockets in the doors here and here as well, you know. 
that's pretty much the van. Now we didn't want it to go all fully built a uh, camper van because I like it this way. This is this way is much more modular. Uh, I can put stuff, I can change stuff inside and etc. etc. So it's, it's, it's you know it's more suited for me. Uh, it's not as cool as the, the, the old one I had. I had the Vivaro four-wheel drive. We built a four-wheel drive with a big engine and big tires, 55s and all that stuff. So it was cool, but it was just too small inside. Once fitted the bike, you know, there was pretty much no space. Uh, the bike was pretty much at the behind the front uh, driver's seat. The back was pretty much where this is here. Uh, it was narrower, it was well much lower so i had to pretty much remove the the after or the screen of the bike to actually fit the bike inside and it was just not good you know when it rains and you have to rush to put the stuff inside and you have to get everything outside to put yourself in to actually sleep in there it's just it wasn't doable it wasn't yes very very uncomfortable so we've changed it for this um uh, that's it now bending lifted because this is lifted by two and a half inch plus tires so I guess it's about four or five inches taller than the original one. It's great, it's nice, but the floor is very high. You can see where my legs are. Yeah. So I've got this. I need to use two ramps because by the time the bike travels up on that one, my hands are literally here. <laughs> to hold the bike and that's stupid because when you're slippery it, it takes nothing to drop the bike on myself so now I just you know walk on this and uh, you know drive the bike there walk on this and just climb together with the bike no problems um, I've modified this a little bit and there's a little tip if you want to do it when you buy them they they are folded a little but very little on this side um, just get the pliers and the three points one two three fold them out a tiny bit more you see yeah, maybe it's exaggerated on this side uh, and here but this actually gives you a lot of grip especially with the with the racing boots or any boots even on the bike for the time you know it grips much more when the stuff is sweat or muddy all the stuff uh, yeah there's a bit of a window gasket here on the zip tires the reason for that is because if I put aluminium ramp straight on this floor which is rubber is gonna move a little bit and it's gonna chew this rubber out and this way with the rubber there with the gaskets is protected there's no even sign for anything to be there now all van we had a carpet on the floor i spent a lot of money on the floor to make it insulated and all that stuff and that was a complete waste of money uh, this way this is much better we still have it insulated i've protected the floor from the rust uh, and, and the noise and insulated plus um, is um, wood floor underneath and this because if something spills if the bike is muddy if the bike is dripping with water or whatever there is no damage to the van i can just wipe it off clean it you know and is as good as new um, as my usual i haven't finished refinished all the stuff you see the wires hanging out there wires wires and meat they don't come along anyways it's because it's time it's time um <laughs> having two jobs well now i have one job but before i had two jobs you know and ruining the business and trying to do racing and family and two kids it's just good thing that my missus takes care of the house because if not it will be too much for me i'm not very well organized person to do all of this stuff you, you, you got these people that do loads of stuff and they have energy for even more not me not me guys <laughs> um so yeah oh and obviously now the bars just just in case uh, and yeah so this is the van I think that's everything I think it's everything it's a bit uh, so this was a bit rust this is actually no rust well it is rust but I actually put some um, rust repellent or rust stopper so this doesn't rust any more than it is uh, I was gonna paint it but then I was like you know what I actually prefer to leave it as it is because it's not flashy actually the opposite of flashy and it doesn't get any attention because that's what I want really you know I put the windows only on that side not on this side I just want it to look like a cheap crap panel van you know so no one actually looks inside you know bothers me when I'm sleeping somewhere or anything so 
I mean, those obviously more zip ties and more zip ties. And there is a 10 mil there with a small screwdriver. And that is crucial because this is a mechanical fuel pump. So sometimes I just get out and I just and tweak the pump a little bit. So a bit more smoke, less smoke, be more power, less power, be more economy and all that stuff. Um, this is the boost controller because the turbo is a variable geometry turbo. So this, this engine, even though being mechanical, it drives like a common rail engine. So we have full boost at 2000 RPMs. The boost comes on at 1200 RPMs. It drives like a M57, like a modern uh, common rail engine because of the VNT turbo. VNT turbo is a variable geometry turbo. So acts like a small turbo on the low RPMs and then opens up as a, acts like as a bigger turbo on it medium high rpm so it's not choking the engine up and it's it's perfect for this engine um so but everything obviously that one usually is electronically controlled uh because this is all mechanical i want no electronics to be involved with the engine because i want reliability everything is mechanical so this is a boost controller you adjust how the boost comes up obviously maximum and how much boost we have again all of it so both of these screws they completely screw it in uh, to have f maximum you know performance this is a pneumatic valve to shoot the engine down and this is an emergency engine shoot valve so no matter what happens pull that up and you shoot the engine off if something happens uh, this one doesn't fit we ordered the one on ebay and it never actually fitted properly my wife screams at me every time she gets in a car adjust it fix it whatever this is good anti-theft device because this is what you do. Hold on. Ah, can't do it one hand. There you go, one hand. And yeah, there you go. Anti-theft device. On. So there you go. You know, um, it's nothing else about this. It's just a normal van. Nothing to it. Bigger tires, bigger wheels, over fenders. I said really, nothing to it. Let's see what we have on this side. Uh, more zip ties, small ones, some batteries. I don't know why, because nothing runs on batteries anymore. Uh, I, just, I should really tidy up here, obviously. Um, towel. These things, these things are very good when you go out, uh, you know. Isotonic energy joke, Joe, because you can eat when you, you know, struggle physically, but you need some nutrients, so that's that's good. And here, obviously, more toilet roll, more toilet roll, and military grade or style of wear. At least that's what they say on eBay. <laughs> um, first aid kit, but we added some stuff there. So there's uh, there's air drops, uh, there's some tablets. Um, there's also some um, like drops um, liquid if you add stomach ache and they're very good. And I think that's it. Well, that's I've shown you everything. Um, it's, it's, it's been a great van. It's been a very good van. You know, this step is good because you you, you boot here. Um, that's it. I just have to organize a bit better. And the fridge is running. Uh, do we have something inside? Ah! There's still pizza left. We might have it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take the bike out in the workshop, uh, do this couple of changes. I'm gonna make it the second part of the video. I'm gonna show you the bike, explain the bike, how it's built and all the stuff, why why the stuff you needed, the stuff you could avoid and etc. etc. I'm gonna do it in a minute. And then I'm gonna organize the van a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna put all the tools in that and transfer that there. So the fridge could be there uh, permanently or ish. All right. I think you liked it. Um, yeah, van is great. I uh, couldn't change it for anything else. I wouldn't change it for the high roof because I can, actually, let me show you. I can, well, or if I straight up, no, you know, if I'm a bit lazy, then I can almost stand up. But that's enough. If you stand like this, that's enough. All I need is to change myself if I have to, and that's it. My wife can stand up, my daughters can stand up here, that's fine. The only downside that this is not high roof, 
and long with beige is that we don't have a shower and a toilet inside but we're not going wide camping so whenever we go there is a toilet and there are showers especially on these racing sites not this next one i think there's nothing there uh but yeah so far it's been absolutely great All right that's it for the van uh see you the next video the bike <laughs>